What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Steven. This is Steven in Stereo and in today's video we are actually checking out 5 Seconds of Summer doing an acoustic performance so you guys already know I'm 100% here for this. But we are checking them out do Jet Black Heart and Want You Back. Now Jet Black Heart is my favorite song from 5 Seconds of Summer off of my favorite album from 5 Seconds of Summer which I am currently doing a giveaway for that vinyl. So if you want to enter I'll put the link in the description. Um, I'm really excited to check this out because I'm super hyped to find out what this is like live acoustically. Um, I have seen a compilation video that showed moments, I think, from this performance and I was so in love. So I'm going to give a huge shout out to C. Evans on Patreon for not only requesting this video but also supporting me on Patreon. Thank you so much. But before we dive in, I actually just want to plug my Patreon really quick. I know a lot of you guys are already over there and I really thank you for that. I do a lot of behind the scenes kind of stuff. Um, over there. I do like concert things and stuff like that, but for five seconds of summer I did how did we end up here the entire DVD watch party? I just did cocktail chats. I did carpool care of Loki um, And I've done a couple of their albums as full listening parties So if you're interested in any of those things as well as my future content and if you like one direction or any of those other artists I actually have a ton of content over there. So make sure to check it out. The link is in the description as well. With all those things out of the way, I'm putting on the good headphones. I'm wearing a hat today because I'm trying to like stop putting product in my hair for a little bit, you know? I gotta let my hair breathe. Yeah, so here we go. Alright, we're gonna play a couple songs. Cool, let's this do one's it. an old one. Let's do it. Let's call Jet Black Heart. Yeah, it is. Everybody's got their team hands Same We don't want to win We don't want to win to believe in I'm just so glad that Michael, I mean, obviously, like, this is his fucking bop, right? We've watched the music video and stuff, like, this is his bop. But it's so great to see him, jeez, I am messing things up. It's so great to see him with an acoustic guitar just shredding his heart out, his jet black heart. Everybody's got their team hands, don't want to wait for a dream, don't want to win to believe in. Fight it. Yes! See a match on a strike, yeah. Every fire I've ignited, faded to cry. But now that I'm broken, now that you know it, caught up in a moment, can you see inside? And kiss I. Got a jet black heart And there's a hurricane yes. underneath that Trying to keep us apart I ride with a point and plan But these chemicals move in between us and plan The way he says chemicals Ah! But these chemicals move in between us Are the reason to start again Oh my god, the way I've needed this my entire existence. Oh, just first off, just having Michael and Ashton hit those harmonies in the verse is incredible, but having everyone come in in that chorus is just fucking magical. Ah! Now I'm holding on for dear life. And there's a way that we can rewind Maybe there's nothing after midnight The harmony could make you stay But now that I'm broken Oh, look And now that you know it Caught up in a moment Can you see inside? Cause I've got a jail black heart Yes, you do. There's a hurricane underneath that, trying to keep us apart. All right, with the poison plan, but the chemicals moving between us are the reason to start again. Yes. The blood in my veins. I'm just gonna already start this part over. Anytime Kowloon comes in, I'm ready for it. Let me. 
Let's go. Fuck yeah. Let me tell you how it went down. Just like this. This is perfect. Ooh. One more. And there's a hurricane underneath that Try to keep us apart I ride with the boys of hell Ashton's feeling this I ride this. with the boys of hell But these chemicals moving between us Are the reason to start again Oh my god. Oh, I am just so thankful that we got Super Bloom because there's so many moments of Ashton's vocals that j they're just so perfect. And I'm so glad we have Super Bloom to have an entire collection of that perfection. Hell yeah. Dude, that was everything I wanted from it. There's so much passion. Woo! Woo! There's so much passion coming from, um, obviously, Michael, because I'm pretty sure, like, he wrote this. Like, this feels like a Michael song. But I just love that all of the members have so much passion with this track. I even love, obviously, the harmonies. We got harmonies from pretty much every set here because... What, there was this one split section where we had Michael and Luke harmonizing and Callum and Ashton harmonizing a different part. Those two melodies coming together. Oh my God. This is so fucking perfect. You know what? It's one of those tracks where I love the intensity of the song um, on its own, like without being an acoustic track. I love just like playing the song in my car as loud as I can, screaming the lyrics. However, there is like a totally new moment. Like this hits so different when it is in an acoustic setting. And I don't know if it's because the song is already so sad that once we get like Michael's facial expression singing the song, it makes it even more sad, especially on an acoustic uh, track. Or the fact that because it is acoustic and we're getting these different harmonies, we're just breaking our heart one chord at a time. But I fucking love this. Oh my God. All right. Cannot be wondering if oh. this is the last time that I'll see your face. Yeah, so many rangers are just a pouring rain. Wish I could say something, something that doesn't sound insane. But lately, I don't trust my brain. You tell me I won't ever change, so I just say nothing. No matter where I go, oh I'm always gonna want you back. No matter how long you're gone, I'm always gonna want you back. I Wait, who's hitting that like super high note? No matter how long you're gone, I'm always gonna want you back. Is that Callum? I know, you know, I will never get over you. No matter where I go, I'm always gonna want you back. Or is that Ashton? I remember the freckles on your back And the way that it used to make you laugh Cause you know every morning I wake up Yeah, I still reach for you I remember the hoses on your shirt When you told me this would never Woo! work You know, even when I say I'm- Wait a minute, do you hear this range that Ashton is singing in? Like, I know he's off screen here But I'm, I'm starting to kind of put it together I thought it was Callum, I'm pretty sure it's Ashton Um Listen at how high this range is. Morning, I wake up, yeah, I still reach for you. I 
remember the roses on your shirt when you told me this would never work. Oh. You know, even when I say I moved on, yeah, I still dream. No matter where I go, I'm always gonna want you back. No matter how long you're gone, I'm always gonna want you back. I know, you know, I will never get over you. No matter where I go, I'm always gonna want you back, want you back. Callum is just finding a way to make bass look so cool in an acoustic performance. Like, I love that for him. You know, even when I say I moved on, you know, even though I know that you're gone, all I think about is where I went wrong. You know, even when I say I moved on, you know, even though I know that you're gone, all I think about is where I went wrong. Yeah, I still dream for you. No matter where I go, I'm always gonna want you back. No matter where I go, I'm always gonna want you back. Yes, I can never, I could never get that range even if I wanted to. No matter where I go, I'm always gonna want you back. No matter how long you're gone, I'm always gonna want you back. I know, you know, I will never get over you. No matter where Back. I like I really need to hunt down as many of these acoustic performances as I can because one thing I love about like I oh, fuck man oh I'm just like thinking about like some of these calm tracks and even some of the Youngblood tracks because they're so experimental I would love to see more and more of acoustic performances of those um, songs because it's really cool to get to see sort of their structure of these songs played live. Um, you guys know, I love the intensity of, of like self-titled and SGFG. I love the fact that they have the very high pop punk vibes and that intensity is something that like, and when I say intensity, I mean, obviously it's not like super heavy, but I mean like, it's very energetic. It's very upbeat. You can sing, dance, stage dive in your car, but you shouldn't because you should be wearing your seatbelt. And I love that. I got to Youngblood and Calm and I love this band for a different reason. It was so much more experimental. There were so many different elements taken from different genres and kind of brought all together, created such beautiful atmospheric moments. So much experimentation. It's something that I praise so much. And after watching their cocktail chats and realizing that that was something that they were aiming for, especially on the Youngblood album, it makes so much sense hearing it in Youngblood and Calm. Now, having said that, so many of those tracks, because they do feel like their studio produced a little more, I would love to see more of acoustic performances getting to actually check out some of those tracks and see what they are doing with the arrangement live because that'd be so amazing because I I feel like I've seen a lot from this band now but there's this whole other side of them with these acoustic performances that is like giving me so much life and making me feel like I'm listening to this band for the first time again now it's really important to me to get to see Jet Black Heart live acoustically because I fucking love this song so much it means so much and it actually means so much more after watching it acoustic now I know that they've done it live I, I, I hope it's still in their set when quarantine is over because I need to see it live so bad um but I actually want to watch more of these acoustic performances just overall like I feel like I'm getting reintroduced to the band like moments I've never I've never like really pictured hearing like all of the different harmonizations, the different groups harmonizing together. It's why listening to their records when you don't, when I didn't know the band like I do now was hard because I never knew who was singing what and getting to watch it live and hear moments like Ashton coming in with these super high ranges. Like I'm so fucking in love with this. So again, huge thank you to C Evans on Patreon for actually requesting this. It really means a lot to me. This song means a lot to me and getting to watch it live as well as want you back was fucking awesome. I love to see just the energy that these guys have on stage. Their chemistry is fucking huh, so good. I hope you guys liked today's video. Make sure to check out Patreon. I've done a ton of five seconds of summer exclusive stuff. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.